I'm excited because I'm here at Country Villa Resort and I'm getting my key in two weeks. Well, that's what the solicitor told me. Now, if you remember the last time I was here, I put my deposit down in December last year. Buying a house here is a long process, remember that. So, Country Villa Resort, I'm gonna take you in because they've now got, the, well, they had it before. I probably didn't see it and go in there or take you to it, but there's so many of you asking questions, so I'm gonna go a little bit deeper in this video onto floor plans, models, and then we'll do the actual street visit of a show house and maybe just do a little pass by of my house because how can I not when I'm here? So that's the clubhouse behind me. They've got a show house in there. They've got, I think it's a double Olympic swimming pool. They've got um, a fabulous gym. I can't get, I can't wait to get inside that. And then they've got a whole phase over there where they're going to be putting shops, etc., in. Coffee shop, two, perfect. Um, so let's go into the show house first and I'll show you some models. Let's go. Oh, and by the way, if you're worried about humidity and weather issues here, today is a beautiful day. You get some really hot days or you get something like this where it's mild, slightly overcast, bit of a breeze going on. So, you know, it's not all hot, hot, hot. So come on then, let's go and have a look inside the show house. So here you have got a meticulously designed master plan. Not only is the location fabulous, people keep saying, why did you choose Malacca? I do know why I chose here. I just have a lot of thoughts going on in my head and I find them hard to put together. But this location you can get to in one hour of KL. Now, if you were to be in KL, you could go to Cyberjaya, Putrajaya, all of those other locations that are just outside the main city but pay double what you're going to pay for here. And here you get a retreat. So my plan is I spend some time in KL, but the rest of the time I'm going to spend here. When I want my head down and I want working and fresh air, this place is practically surrounded by golf courses. So here you've got where we were just now at the clubhouse. We came in here, right, and you've got the clubhouse, pool, etc. This was the first, oh, tell a lie, I think this was the first and second phase, I think, round here. And then you've got the phase that I've bought in here at five, which is St. Andrews. And now the phase that is on offer, exactly the same house that I've bought, I'm going to show you around, is in this one, Volderama. That's the next phase that's available. And they're at 1.3 million for a four. You can make that into a five as well, by the way. I'm going to show you how. Five bedrooms, semi-detached with bathrooms. So let me show you the model. So remember, any development, you're always looking at growth, and this is a huge development. It's a resort, it is a lifestyle for your kids, your family, for yourself. In the evening, there's so much to do. So this is the house that I've bought, and you can see you've got all of that space there. That's the front. It's a double-fronted, semi-detached house. I'm going to put a balcony on the front there because I just think I should. Now, looking at the side of it, look how big it is. And there's so much that could be done. And ideally, you don't get a lot of garden because as a foreigner, you don't get to have that extra land. But um, there's still room, I think, to potentially put a little pool in. I might do it, I might not, depends on the money. right? But that's what you've got there. Now let me show you the one that's available. So my house is 3,700 square feet. And compared to the average British house, remember, I live in, I live in Castle Hill, which is also the first of the garden city communities similar to this here and that's why this place resonated with me more because it's a lifestyle that I wanted except for here you get a swimming pool. Now this is the one that is available and it's almost the same I'd say but slightly different. I'm showing you this one, this one's got a bit of land next to it, this one's the end plot and it's usually more money but it's very very similar, slight changes in design but this one is 1.3 million ringgits and it all depends on what the exchange rate is, and I'll give you some figures at the end. So let's go and have a look inside, shall we? Seriously, look at this. I've stayed in some places and no one's got a pool that big. I don't even know. I'd say it's definitely Olympic. Not double Olympic, but definitely Olympic. It's, I can't wait to get in this. Upstairs, you've got a gym. And of course, because it's a Muslim country, or should we say large population Muslims, they've got a sarau, which means you've got a prayer area, you've got a full wash area, and the place is always clean. So let's go. 
So there is a gym on the facility, but if you really want to see the inside of that, have a look at my full house tour to see inside in detail. So here I am outside my show house, the house that I've purchased. At the moment, these are going for 1.3 million ringgits, which is just over what I paid. I'll give you figures at the end. Over there, you've got a bigger one. That one is a six bedroom, eight bathroom. That one is a detached unit and that one is being sold for 1.8 million, which I think I worked it out at 350,000 pounds, but wait for the end and I will show you the prices for both and I'll do a separate video tour of that house. But let's go inside this one for now and show you exactly what mine should look like, but I have a whole renovation process ahead of me. So here we go, let's go inside. But point to be noted, these are smart houses. They don't come with front door keys. They come with these access failed because my thumbprint doesn't work. Let's go inside. Okay, do you know what's really interesting is the way that they've laid it out and the decor and the design is gonna give me some fabulous ideas. Because this section here, I was actually thinking of glass walling it off or something and putting a bedroom here because my house has this but my house has a bathroom, which is not present in this one, which is interesting. So then you move on to, now this is a different layout. This is a different layout, guys. This is the one that is available for 1.3, and I don't think it's bad at all. Let's have a look. So I've got windows here. They haven't, and I like what they've done there. And, and actually the layout will be that we have a lounge space here. That's very similar. I think that exists in my house. Um, I'm wondering whether, yes, these are all al aluminium windows. You've got this nice little garden feature to put inside. And then at the back here, you've got such an amazing space. This is very differently laid out. I'm really liking this. Can I swap? But in the meantime, I'm just going to get some decor ideas. I love this feature wall that divides up, and I can do that in mine. And this was also something that I thought, <laughs> this was also something that I thought about doing for the kitchen, a nice freestanding island. And look at this. You know how you said about my fridge freezer coming from the UK? Well, mine's just like this one. So let me just check. Let me see. Oh, no. oh is that pretend? Is it real? Okay, let's go on. So then you've got the rest of your kitchen here beautifully built in. And I... I like the dark. I like dark. Definitely like dark. What are you doing, son? What are you doing, son? Okay, you learn from the best then, you yeah? Learn from the best. What we got? I think this door goes out. No, it's a double lock, you see. They're all double locks. And then you've got these systems here. This takes you to the outside garden, but we're going to have a look at the garden in a second. So I'm getting really confused by the layout of this house, and I'm just trying to picture mine and see how I can implement what they've done here. Um, they've done so much. Look at the roof. There's so much you can do with all the lighting. I wonder if they'll sell me this for 1.3. I don't mind paying the extra 300 for them to like sort. Give it to me like this. How's that? Developers, take my house, give me this, done. Deal? I'll take it, right? Look at this. Hand wash basin, WC. Storeroom. Now, I know I'm calling this a storeroom, but they also call it the maid's room, by the way. So this will be the maid's room her toilet, her sink, and then you've got the, another bedroom down here, look. Whoa, look at this. I'm liking a lot. I'm liking this. You've got a fabulous ensuite. Look at that, they've even got a little ledge. Who's her? She's not. Right, come on then. I can't, I must have turned the room here, I can't know. This is the downstairs bedroom. It's always good to have one as well. I love that feature wall that they've put it's in over there. Bougie. Yeah, it's hella bougie. It's all like digitalized. They call it a smart house, you see. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Love all of that up there. Loving it. I am absolutely loving this. I have this area in mind and this is a fantastic idea. You've got this garden space. They're using it for ventilation, but look at what they've done. They've made this. A bit of greenery, a nice quiet seating area for you to do study, read, whatever and could you imagine being sat there while the rain comes in from up there this is all arranged as a soak away by the way so you're not going to get any flooding and they've raised up the walls a little bit here so let's go in a little bit further 
And look at this, this, this stunning door and the way that it swings in nice and carefully and then you just latch it at the bottom. I haven't seen anything like this. Okay, I haven't lived. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs and look at that staircase and that stone wall. Loving the interior design, loving the decor. Let's go up. I need to employ the person that did this. Look at the balustrade as well, glass balustrade. You come onto a landing. So this is the landing and you know what? Seeing it with furniture in it really gives you great perspective about what you can do because it's a blank canvas. It looks so empty. Look at this, just this little bit here, the walls, the little seating. It's not actually that big a space. I mean, it's big as far as landings go, but the light and the open space, there's so much to do in my house. I'm not gonna have the time. I need people to help me. So come through, this is the master. This is my room, oh, Hussein. I claimed it. I claimed it. No, I have the biggest room in the house, okay? Think... It's huge. So no. in fact, I think my room, no, it is about this big, because what they've done is open plan. So you can put the bed there, and then I was going to put a little glass wall here for me to do some work. Oh, look at all these this fittings as well. I need, the, I need the people that did this. Definitely need the people that did this. And for any of you thinking of buying, I'm going to get some contacts together because this is really nicely done. So you've got amazing. This is my boudoir. Enter my boudoir for my clothing, for all of my bits, wow. my bags, my dresses my shoes and bags i think i'm going back in the back in time <laughs> this is stunning right come in here this is the bathroom so this is like my bathroom i have a feeling that it is the same size and you have in mind got the freestanding bathtub which i can't wait to have having had that luxury in the uk i haven't seen many places here that have it his and hers basins and then you've got the toilet and you've got a lovely waterfall shower going on over there. And I'm loving these glass dividers, actually. Or you could just leave it as a whole wet room, but I, I prefer the division. Let's go and have a look at the other rooms. Now, if you want to, you can actually make access from here and create that as a balcony. I would do that personally. I'm going to try and do that at mine. Let's look at the other rooms. The weird thing is that this is 3,695 square feet and mine is 3,700. And this feels so much bigger, weird. This is the second bedroom or one of the bedrooms, which they haven't, I mean, that's a futon, isn't it? So they'll have a sofa bed or a bed. And each of the rooms have got these smart features here as well. You've got the lighting that's all done, the fans um, and all the different eyeball lights. Every room has this en suite. Come on, let's go, let's go. Uh, not every single one. How is this wow. even? No, but they don't all come with on suites. What I don't understand is how, how? I tell you what I do like. I love this. This raise, I'm definitely doing this platform bed with the mattress on top. Um, this isn't actually our house, darling. It will be like this, but it's gonna involve a lot of work. What's that? Yeah, trust Hussein to find something pink and glittery, son. Chill. And then you've got the bathroom. Right, let's have a look at that. It's one, two, and then this is the third. See, I love the way that they do the design work in here. Look at the way the bed is on this one, and it's all built into the rest of the fittings. And then you've got the same. You've got another ensuite. This one's got, I can't even remember how many ensuites I've got now. That's me. Have they all got ensuites? I can't remember. That's hustle. Right, it's beautifully, beautifully that's done. Me. That's me, that's hustle. Yeah, if you want to go and learn how to do that, son, I don't think you'd be able to cope. That's me, that's hustle. You guys haven't got the strength. Hustle. Right, I've just done the calculation for you. To buy this house, it's £228,000. Remember, when I bought, the exchange rate was a little bit different, so I did get lucky, um, and it was at 6, and now it's at 5.6. So every penny counts when it comes to the thousands. So you're talking 228000 but you're going to get it as a blank canvas, and then, of course, you've got to spend money on top of it. And I think budget for... I mean, if we're, going to look at, we're looking at this, you're talking fifty grand at least. At least fifty grand. So bank 300,000 if you want one of these houses. Right, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a lot of time. It's time for mm, Asr, right? And you can hear the Azan. They also have a Sarau on site. But what you've got is you've got this side garden as well. 
um, and it's possible if you wanted to put a little swimming pool in if you wanted to but frankly you've got that huge thing over there why would you want to put one in here and have well, to do with all the here. maintenance I was thinking like a hot tub actually but more of a cold tub but you get all this garden here it goes around the side let's go to the front as well because you could if you wanted to because you do have a lot of front space um, I think you kind of have this carport area and you might not have all of this frontage, but it does give you some room if you wanted to, to put something like over here, if you wanted that wet, you know, but there's so much, there's so much room. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did give me a thumbs up, comment below, any questions, fire away. Um, otherwise, that's it for me with this one. And if you want to see the big 1.8, which is actually how much, let me tell you. Okay, so I've just done the figures. So this one is 228,000 pounds. And then the big one, which I'm going to show you next, is 318,000 pounds. And you get about 4.8 square feet, 4,800 square feet. This one is 3,600, so you get about 1.2 extra. And I'll tell you what, most of the houses in England aren't bigger than 1.2 square, 1.2 square meters, feet, 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 feet. Anyway, like guys, subscribe and share.